done most of the printer setup. I haven't done any tuning yet. This is the first print. So far, so good. Uh, one little annoying thing is the uh, clicky probe. Uh, it rattles while it's in there. It's kind of annoying. It makes me think something's wrong with the belt or, or something else. I have to figure out a better way to get that to be quieter. Just using a standard, um, one of Alice's standard PIF profiles. Of course, I don't have any panels on yet, but I'm running it with the, uh, the polymer stuff. You can kind of see it. It's a slightly different shade. So far, it seems to be sticking. Let's see how this comes out. All right, I gotta take that. I probably gotta take that out because that's annoying me. One nice thing I like is it gives you a little shelf down here. I have it configured to use the uh, probe as the end stop. I'm not even using the, uh, the actual end stop right there anymore. It was too. It was too far below the bed, and I was worried it was going to crash the head into it too many times. Because it only had a little less than a millimeter of distance between the bottom of the stealth burner and the plate. It would hit the. It would hit the probe, but it also gives you a negative offset as well on top of that. So it's already confusing that everything is reversed with the plate going up and down instead of a bit, uh, that gantry going up and down. I don't know where it's printing at. Looks like uh, up to about 180 millimeters a second, roughly. It's not a super fast profile. I'm only running the um, the high flow nozzle in it right now, the 4.0, and that's all this machine's gonna run. And I got to do the stealth burner lights. Right now, I'm just this is just the headlight option. Allows you to turn it on and change colors, but that's it. I can't uh, the stealth burner config for some reason. The LED config kept, kept shooting me errors after I loaded it. And I still have to do run uh, PAEM on this as well. But considering this is the first print and I haven't crashed the head into the bed during this installation, which is really good. I'm using these LED, uh, this is a different style. These are the ones that are used for these, which are individual panels. These are just one solid panel with no diffusers in between it, which is fine. I don't, I don't mind that. Gives me plenty of light. I did have to super glue the strips in so they just wouldn't stick. Whereas these, they're, kind of, they're just slid in so they can kind of, they're held in place uh, basically by the little diffuser portions. I really gotta clean this glass. I mean that plexi, it's really dirty. Yeah. And this is not gonna be the best filament. I tried, uh, I was having some extrusion issues with it. I don't know if it's the filament or not, I think it is, but. The max it'll run is 25. I don't think I'll ever hit that with any of the prints I'm doing. But that's it. So far, so good. Well, we're getting there. I'll have it done hopefully by the end of the day. I still have to put the other panel on the side. I went with the black middles to kind of keep in line with this panel. This is actually supposed to be turned the other way apparently, but the way they modeled this one, for some reason they, they switched it upside down. I think it's just so you can get to the, so you can get to the dimmer on it. And I'm still gonna put that panel in. That one I got sitting right here. Just, just haven't put it in yet. And then I'll do the back and the rest of that stuff. And uh, I should be done, I hope. I'll be doing, obviously, print configs for the day. 
but once this is done, I'll get an idea how, how well it printed or not, you know, what, what I really need to do. I mean, I know what I need to do. I can already tell right now. I got a set PA. A little bit of bulging there on the corners. So. But it's going.